Hello guys and welcome back to another building tutorial for Valheim and a lot of people have been wondering how I construct my smiths or my forgeries and I wanted to show you how I make them look a little bit nicer than just having it so they spew out on the ground and it looks a bit messy especially uh, pre patch when it used to stack up all over each other so I just want to show you guys how I did it and this was all survival um, at, le uh, at least this part but I will be constructing it in creative or in, in the debug mode just to have the right amount of resource is not have to collect everything again but i'm going to show you exactly how i do this and how to make your forgery look good which is what we're going to do okay so obviously one of the first things you need to do is make sure the land's flat so get a hoe make sure that everything's flat around the building area and we want to start by putting four stone slabs down like this surrounded by another four stone slabs now this will function as the base for the furnace or the furnaces if however big you want to make this and next we're going to get two stairs and we're going to put the two stairs on either side of the path just like so now making sure that everything's centered i'm just going to test the furnace making sure that's right in the middle and we're actually going to go and put one of the roofs uh, one of the shallow roofs in the center like that and that'll act as some kind of funnel sometimes the ground isn't quite even so you could use a pickaxe just make sure it's a little bit lower so the actual uh, roof sticks out a little bit more and makes it look like it's actually funneling down to something but next we want to surround it with these timber frames as you can see i'm doing here the angled timber frames the smaller timber frames on either side like so just to make it look a bit more uh, part of the actual structure itself and now i do mess up a little bit here but like i said i actually mine down a little bit so i could see the whole roof i put uh, two of the smaller uh, beams on either side of the frame as you can see right here I was just trying to get it nice and even nice and flush it's kind of tricky especially when you're dealing with this kind of ground and you know this kind of system on Valheim with the build it's not quite like Minecraft so it can be a bit difficult just to get it right get it flush but as you can see that's easy so far the next thing we want to do is get our smeltery, our furnace, right in the center. Can take a few attempts, just if you want to be perfect about it, then obviously, you know, take as long as you need. But we put it roundabouts in the center like that. And that's kind of the bulk of it done, which is pretty simple. The next part really is making it look nicer. So the functionality of this is preserved. As you can see, you can walk around either way of the stairs. And uh, you can deposit your coal, the ingots, uh, the ore, sorry, the unfried ore. Um, and well, as I said, if you want to make it bigger, that's exactly what we'll do. And we'll just replicate this with uh, this this additional stone, which will uh, which will function for the next furnace, as you can see, I'm doing right here. And I will put a stairway on. Uh, I think it's the fourth stone slab. And um, I will make sure that I will repeat this process like I did for the first furnace. And I will just make sure that's nice and even. As I said, it can be a bit annoying getting the ground right for this. So there's many a time where I spend a lot of my uh, time on this game just making sure the ground's even making sure everything can actually be seen properly without too much of a stick and protruding through the ground um and then a lot of time will actually be aligning the the wooden beams as you can see i'm doing right here just to make sure like they're as flush as can be because sometimes they stick sometimes they don't and uh i don't know i guess it's luck of the draw really but as i said this is just going to frame all around the uh upside down roof that i've put ready for the furnace which i'll put right in the center like this and now as i said this can be as big or as small as you want i'm just going to keep it to two furnaces right now just for simplicity's sake and i'm going to make it so it looks aesthetically pleasing uh, as well as its functionality being preserved next we're going to get some stone stairs and we're going to put it at the uh, st sorry stone wall and we're going to put it at the base of these stone slabs as you can see i'm doing here making sure not to overlap because that's where we're going to put the pillars and uh, that's going to serve as a bit of a use later a bit of an aesthetic use I'm going to wrap this all the way around the build as you can see here just make sure it's on each side of the stone slab and I want to actually put another layer on top, which I will finish uh, in a few seconds. And that goes all the way around, so that's too high. Next, you want to get the stone pillars and put it in between the blocks that you've missed. So that's why I said don't overlap too much on the, um, on the wall. You want to put them on top like that, another one on top. So that's too high right there with those stone pillars, like so. And you actually want to get another two pillars right in front of the build next to the stairways and i will do that on the other side this is for the aesthetics of the build again depending on how big you want it it's up to it's up to your 
sort of you know your your building style your your uh, how much area you have to build but next we want to get this core wood and we're going to wrap it on either side of the pillar like you can see how i'm doing here make sure that clicks right in place and it serves its purpose like that connected to the pillars should be pretty easy enough and then obviously you'll need quite a lot of cord for this anyway because we're actually going to extend this even further so make sure it's connected with these additional uh upright um uh core woods uh uh, poles like this make sure it's on each side so it actually touches the base i actually put a whole cord rather than the two meter ones like i did initially and uh, i will connect that to the base like you can see and that will serve as almost the, the 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 well it'll take the place of the concrete pillars just because a bit of brown uh you know goes a long way especially when you're just dealing with grays with the stone which is why I kind of want timber frames and uh, a lot of woods displayed throughout the build because, well, I suppose in Nordic culture and Nordic bu uh, building themes, a lot of wood is used with the accompaniment of stone, which obviously adds to the Nordic theme of the this Valheim universe. So I'm just going to frame that all the way around like this. Just make sure you get each uh, uh, four meter pole in between like so connecting on either side of the pillars. Just put it in every place as you can see me putting right here. And it makes sure it replicates on each side. Next, we're going to get the rest of the 4 meter poles. And we're going to try our best to extend all the way. You'll obviously need the 2 meter one as well. Just to uh, fit in that gap. The plug that in. I decide against actually having a 4 meter core wood again. Down the center. Because I didn't see much point. It, it kind of didn't work with the build. And I kind of mostly had finished it up to this point. As we can see here. There's mo Most of it's all done now. And I, what I do next. I get the rectangle wooden frames. And I frame it round the... Um, the stone wall to act as some kind of window pane window frame just so you could lean on it as in in this in, well if you could lean on again in this game i suppose but i frame all the way around again just to add a bit of texture break up the monotony of this gray kind of build and to add a bit of you know aesthetic uh giddy to it as, as you could say and i frame all the way around like so and as i said the main bulk of the build's done now all you need to do is add the additional frame to uh, the front side of the build next to um, the furnaces. If you've got additional stone, I put some on either side of the corner. Just, again, just purely for aesthetics, purely because I'm in the debug mode. So there's no penalty for me to, you know, waste my stone or anything like that sort. So as I said, the next part really is to add this frame, as you can see I'm doing here, to either side of the stairway like so on each uh, of the, stair uh, the stairways which should be three if you're copying this build to an exact t and next i want to get the regular straight uh, uh wooden uh, blocks the wooden uh, beams and you want to place them on either side of the stairway like i'm doing here just to finish off that frame and that's pretty much it that was pretty quick what that was six minutes if if that you know of this build and as i said you want to include a bit more frame here like i'm doing here this upright beam the smaller upright wooden beam on either side and that's to function for the torches so you can put torches on top so you've got some light here and i put the iron torches on top like so just to give it that extra flare um so you know obviously you know you can actually see what you're doing at night um so that is it that is the main build done and that is the outdoor furnace and uh, it just looks a lot nicer than having random furnaces across the landscape just pumping out a load of stuff everywhere it looks organized but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial guys let me know if you include it in your world i'd love to know how you've incorporated it into your build thank you very much for watching see you later